Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another com Akasa Competitive Left 4 Dead 2. I, of course, am Dragon, and tonight I am joined by my uh, good companion, Battle, who is currently in his kitchen looking for some booze and trying not to awaken his pet dog, uh, Zeus, from his slumber. And uh, our Mishka is actually <laughs> being generous enough to wait until Battle is ready, but uh, as for now, I can't tell when it's going to be. Are you there, Battle? Success. He's back. We are live. And I just made the introduction as well. Uh, just letting you guys know that this is the uh, last quarterfinals to be played in the winners bracket of the Equilibrium Cup between uh, Moby Dick and Extreme Colors. This is a American versus European conflict. Yeah. And would you like to give the rundowns of the team battle? I certainly can. For the Extreme Colors, we have uh, Mishka, Czech. Uh, rocks and Anuser, and for Moby Dick we do have Polis, Intel, uh, Cheesy, and Nemi. Sorry, my mission was successful. I infiltrated the kitchen, obtained my drink, and did not wake him up. Well, well done on that class. If you'd woken him up, this would have been, uh, been a real crisis. Yeah, I'd be back and forth every bloody ten minutes. Every round change, probably. Okay. Should be an interesting game, though. I mean, Moby Dick have been playing extremely strong in the tournament thus far. Of course, Extreme Killers are one of the top teams at the moment. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, as well as I illuminate, these are looking like two of the strongest teams in their half. And, uh, well, I mean, whoever wins this goes on to meet Illuminate and... I'll be a semi-finals, behold. I didn't uh, Illuminate take a win over Team Sexy earlier as well. Yeah, they came back from 600 points down to a win by like 100 points in the end. But the uh, round is going live. It's officially starting the match. And I don't have my set card up. Let's make some grits. There it is. So the first attack is a jockey spitter charger and a smoker. So uh, the free one. No boomer, but there is a spitter, so I could go very well with the uh, charger. I see uh, Intel there offering uh, good luck and have fun wishes. There's a probability here for a death charge. I mean, they've got that jockey and the smoker, and of course the charger. Try and set up for it. Charger does lose his spawn, however. Smoker does get a pull, but he gets cleared instantly. A jockey has spawned up behind the survivors, looking for a grab on Rochelle, but he gets shut down. Charger up. spawns up. Oh, I don't know where he's going with that charger, but uh, you get walled and killed. Oh, there's a tank as well. Very early tank in the hands of uh, Booty Intel. Trap, which is uh, cheesy, I believe. I think yeah, it's cheesy. No, oh, it's in the hands of Intel. Uh, tank is up in the hands of Intel. It takes over to an oh, infected oh, oh. warum. Well, the common's got anyway, so. Do they have a scout? Yeah, it's on a shell. A shell. I'm taking it out. Alright. All right. Call me, you want us, dude. I'll we'll get the other car. Intel? Fucking cry. I'm teleported. Oh, oh my god. Why didn't you just pass it, dude? Fucking because it's a trip cap and there was still common trip thing. Yeah. It's the same situation as it was yesterday. What do you have lost? Yeah. Things? So I think it's happening. Open your net graph. I'm looking at it. What am I looking for? It says loss. It says zero, but we're paused. So. Is he hitting me with a fucking melee yeah. or something? Cry. Yeah. I'm trying to punch him to the car over there. You have 2,400 health and you're getting meleeed. Yeah, I see. Another support up. Maybe I can fucking get him in the car. Nope. <laughs> Jesus fucking... We are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was the opening tank of the game for a team Moby Dick. Unfortunately, only managed to get about a punch there before getting taken out. It seemed like there was a little bit of a connection issue, but uh, 
uh, as a result the tank took about 2k chip and finished off without any more than that. SI support was taken out pretty comfortably as well, Smoker dying right at the end there after the tank died. Next hit for the SI is up but it is a 2-2 and the survivors are in a pretty strong way to try and push this choke. They are taking it rather slow though, Jockey charges, spitter and boom. Jockey pre-spawns in front and he tries to go in but he gets a shotgun blast for his trouble. Charger coming in off the roof now. Charger going for that charge but he gets mowed down. Jockey gets a land but gets cleared instantly. Boomer gets a boom in on one. He's using the alarm car as cover. Yeah. They'll be able to pop him from a distance. They will indeed, but that is the attack down. I mean, tank's gone as well. Boomer gets popped. So there's a little bit of chip going in on the survivors, but uh, nothing really to write home about. They are in great shape now to sort of take safe from with a pretty big bonus. Yeah, they're in fantastic shape, but I, I think that crash really did mess things up for uh, hey, uh, for Moby Dick. Survivors are already like 75% through the map almost. And they've only taken, you know, 30 points of damage, well, 40 points spread across. Yeah, I, th I would say Moby Dick could go like two more chances there for attacks uh, at the end of this map. Yeah, they do have a good setup this time though. Uh, it's a smoker, spitter, charger, and a hunter, so it's a nice tri cap with spit. But they need to do some significant work here to drop that bonus. I mean, four, it's currently sitting at 484, but it's actually about, five, about 584. Because they yeah, still yeah. have four sets of pills on them. That's why I was choosing to take it inside the house this time. Let's see if the SI can get anything. Hunter has pre spawned. But here comes the whole attack. Hunter coming in. Does get level. level. Spit goes down, but it's not going to get anything. Hunter's jumping around. He gets M2 twice and then shut down. That is. That's the final attack, really, for Moby Dick. A little bit of horde, but not really much in front of the survivors. So they can just push straight in. The other two survivors are actually quite a bit behind those, so maybe that will give Moby Dick the time they need to make this one last attack, but it's in a very difficult position. I don't, I mean, unless it's like a 3 1 or some kind. No, it's a 2 2. two it's a worse type as well. Nothing to really do here. Jockey does pre spawn. There is a smoker, boomer, and a spitter as well in Ghost, but um, this isn't going to stop um, that and drop the health bonus at all. Jockey's stuck behind the boat. Smoker please spawns as well. Smoker gets picked. Jockey's shut down. It's the boomer and the spitter. Uh, the spitter just got his, got his spit out, but... Boomer here is not going to stop anything. No. He does get a cheeky spawn, but he gets popped instantly. And that will be safe from for the extreme killers, who make it in with a health bonus of 516. Oh, and nice. then a total score of uh, 816, which is a pretty solid start for the opening map. It's humongous for map 1, yeah. But that was uh, that was on fresh. That could have easily been what an 1100 bonus at least. But a uh, good thing we got this uh, map score sorted out to be more accurate about uh, maps true with distance and difficulty. Yeah, that tank play was pretty crucial, and unfortunately for a Moby Dick, it did not go well at all for them. Single punch. They probably could have used that hitable, but um, there was a point where it went over their heads to the survivors and then they had to commit the SI for support. It was just getting railed by those uh, shotguns. Yeah, they did. They got about um, just about 1,000, 1,200 chip into the uh, into the tank as he was pushing in and as soon as the tank... Oh, tri-cap! It's a tri-cap to begin with the stream killers and uh, Nick has been taken around into the burger tank. The show only just gets free from the smoker. That's a lot of damage on the... They've already got less bonus than what the stream killers made it to the save from with. Yep. They're about to trigger this tank spawn as well. And Intel's pulls the game again. And disconnected from the server. Looks like Intel will be subbing out. I see an appearance here from uh, Bowflexen. Or maybe even IC Inferno. IC is uh, online. Yeah, if yeah, IC is connecting to the server now. I mean, if Intel's uh, connection problems are really that severe, it only makes sense to make a substitution now. It yeah, probably would have been a better idea to do it prior to this map. I mean, Intel's been suffering with uh, connection problems most of today. I mean, the uh, tank ended up in his hands as well, which caused a lot of problems. And we do only have um, the Moby Dick War Room at the moment as well, so we will not be going for War Room uh, for the Extreme Killers tank. We'll be keeping it here. But a massive hit right off the bat for Extreme Killers. Massive tri-gap. Really big damage. 
and it's all now for a Moby Dick to play for. They need to make it to the uh, to the safe room at least. I mean, any bonus on top of that is going to be merely a consolation prize. Yeah. I mean, it looks like they're going to have to use pills on Nick and Rochelle. 35 and 37 health, respectively. They're already slow. Yep, and they are, of course, going to take more attacks as a result of being slow. If they commit the pills and a tank gets another down on someone who isn't health bonus, that's going to be a third set of pills committed. But the round has gone live. The tank does go down. Oh! And there is the tank as well. No, no, tank. No. I thought Nick was slightly caught and desperate there. A lot of damage going out on Icy and on uh, a booty clap who was cheesy. A tank is up in the hands of Rock. He's just uh, throwing a couple of rocks at the moment. He's got two SI spawns up, third about to come up, and it is a smoker, so it is a tri gap. Survivors are uh, taking their place on the roof. Yeah. Well, that smoker is poised. He looks like he wants to do a death charge with a smoker ready for it. Uh, charges almost game, but it's a double cap anyway. Oh, and a rocket. Wow, this is pretty severe. One survivor down, one about to go down from a jockey. Tank is going to commit instantly. Smoker does get cleared, but the tank is in there. This is pretty monumental. Tank oh, already has a corner. Jockey's jock is back as well. Trying for that final cap on coach. Just one survivor up now. And uh, coach is trying to skip the jockey. He's got a boomer to contend with as well. That's as it. a rock on. It's the wipe. Not a good start for Moby Dick. And there we have it, that's the wipe. Not a good start for Moby Dick at all. 40 points into the map. They're currently down by 700 and... what would you say, Dragon? 700 uh, 76 points. 776. Not a good start at all. So this, it can be done. I mean, what Moby Dick really need now is early tanks, early wipes, and to make... you know, just to make the distance of uh, map 2, if anything. Yeah. Well, oh. I mean... Need bonuses. Yeah. I mean, as we saw earlier, though, I mean, I illuminate were 600 points behind uh, against Team Sexy, and they came back in what was a close game. Yeah, it'll all come down to um, the tank play as well now. I mean, the tank is going to be a big part of the damage that Moby Dick needs. The tanks need to do significant work. If not get wipes, then get at least two, maybe three in caps tops just to force the survivors to be slow and take more damage as they progress through the map from constant SI attack. Yeah. Being set up for the SI though, is uh, it's another tricap. There's a Charger Smoker, Hunter and a Boomer. Not a bad setup, but uh, I assume Moby Dick would have wanted the uh, Spitter as opposed to yeah. the Boomer for this one. Yeah, I, I would think the same too if I was in that situation. It can really help in those sort of tight narrow corridors at the beginning. But I mean, you know, if they can get the boomer in the right spot, if they can get like w just one or two boom, they can create enough of a distraction um, for the rest of the SI to do some work. I mean, this is a this is a tricky area for survivors in a, in a few ways, and I, for one, don't actually <laughs> I don't particularly enjoy coming out of this safe room. The safe room is one of the dangerous ones because I mean, no matter which way you go, the SI can cover it if they get the spawns on the safe room roof. And there's the, a 28% uh, tank, yes. I'd also like to thank Insta, who's an admin for the server, helping to police things. It's the limit slots a bit, so no one can join in on us. The survivors are uh, cautiously baiting this opening uh, choke point. Hey, we ain't going no further on that. And they do push outside the safe room, so let's see what the SI do with this. I was have taken a, a pretty solid position on the right-hand side of the safe room. But the SI have chosen to hit inside the uh, sugar mill. String team running four shotguns. In here. Although it looks like the uh, they look like a poison sort of go when inside the building. Yep, and they are Go coming on. in now. Boomer misses his rocket though. Hunter gets Hunter gets a land. Charger gets a land. Boom gets a tri boom. Charge doing quite a bit of damage. Not bad damage at all going off on the first hit. Uh, they will have an SI hit as well for the tank spawn. Yeah. It should spawn um, sort of about halfway through this uh, sugar mill area. Might spawn right now though as they reach the uh, intersection. It is there. Yep, there is a tank. Uh, tank is up in the hands of Icy Inferno, so uh, let's run us over to a uh, Moby Dick Warm. You see it? Oh, he can get the boom. Uh, I'll try. 
Probably need at least a double boom because everyone has shotguns. I don't think they they don't have scout, do they? They don't have scout. They should. That's weird. Okay. You can get us. We can just go for rock. Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you get a spawn in me? Just, you need to hurry up. It's just going for that's rock right now. Good. That's good, dude. There's the double. Oh, oh, good. Good rock. Nice fucking damage. Is Nick slow yet? Yep. I had the spawn, I just was trying to fight uh, it. Rock hit the tree. I know scouts, so just look at them when you'll be good. No, yeah, you just stare at them all day. I feel like we just rock tank. Because they. Like, another they boom. can get hitboxed everywhere, so they have to walk out and skeet the rock. Get in, see, you can get another boom, we go. I have a spawn right here, you can grab it, you can spawn right here and hit Rochelle. Oh, we go anyway. Nice charge, dude. You still gotta pass it? Mm -hmm. No. Alright, be out. Ooh, a little higher on that rock might hit. Like they, they can't line a sight there. Very good. Every time you throw a rock, they gotta walk out. We go again. We get spawns. Uh, yep. Okay, let's go. Well, they've already used three pills, so. You, uh, okay, I assume just, they're gonna move eventually. I mean, oh, they're gonna realize that this is not working very good. Yeah, we still have a pass, so. If you walk left, you can see Nick. He's like sitting behind that. We go again. Let's go. Let's go. Damn it, Nick blocked me at the last second. If he can get something, I need rage. You might build a chip. Alright, I'm going in. Oh, nice shot. Yeah. I just need to pass. I might build a clip him around that truck. How much long do you want to do rock for? You think we can do one more pass? Like one no. more set of ones, or just go? Probably just gonna go. Nice time to get this rock, let me see. Right. There's two guys right here, dude. You could jump, uh, you just run along. Can't hit box them. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Ready? Mm-hmm. Yep. Wait. They fucking <laughs> know. They know. I'm in. Call when you want us, dude. Let's tell him this guy's on the left, charger. Go, there you go. Good oh, charge. Wow. You could get out, dude. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Just get out. Nice damage. Oh, they didn't chase me. Oh, that was good then. Real scums. We commence rock tank again. <laughs> And the boom, they're trying to. Oh, there's push. one guy in the back. Pull the, pull the guy in the back. Pull the Rochelle guy, and I can cover it. Oh my God, what the fuck? Oh, you're gonna like fall down and pull them. There's a guy running forward, blocking the spawn. Next step, fucking him. Oh, God, oh fucking rock. one hand overhand. Didn't expect to have to aim that much high up. Good. Nice rock. Good. It's easy rock right there. Uh, we're up in one second to help you out. Try and pull forward. Oh god! Well, you need to go ready. ready. Can you pull it out? Let's attack. I'm just gonna sit back here and distract them. They're all trying to shoot me to death. Oh, 
That auto cut. Oh, I'll watch that dude. <laughs> Gotta keep sight with a hundred health. Ooh. It's working. <laughs> they need ammo. Reloading. What the fuck? I oh, was there a scout in We are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was the opening tank of map two for Moby Dick. Uh, tank did eventually die, but doing after a great amount of damage. All th four survivors have virtually no permanent HP left. Two of them have suffered one down each, and both of those players are down to one hit until black and white. Boom goes in, does get a boom in on one. Uh, this goes down as a result. There is a witch ahead. Hunter coming in here looking for a pounce, and there's a jockey running around. Hunter gets his down. Jockey gets cleared. There's a smoker in the back. Witch is kind of annoyed. Oh. But she does get drawn. Oh, Rochelle goes down to the witch. Smish carries up. He's going to get kicked by Combs. Oh, that's, that's it. it. That is the wipe. So, a pretty solid start for Moby Dick. They did wipe them 200 points in. But now Moby Dick have to really play this tank uh, well as survivors. They have to basically do what um, Extreme Team, sorry, Extreme Killers failed to do at the start. And that was either take the scout for Chip or line aside him extremely hard. Yeah, oh. I think Moby Dick will be wanting to take a scout this time. I mean, they do have a couple of people on that team who could use it pretty well. But uh, that still doesn't answer the fact that Extreme Killers put on a, a really dominant display. Not just survivors, but infected in the first round as well. I mean, Moby Dick did not have an answer to that infected play in the first map, and so they need to start answering it right now. Otherwise, they're not going to gain a foothold in this match. Yeah, they really need to capitalize on the, uh... Well, they did capitalize extremely well on the mistakes that Extreme Killers made in the opening of uh, Map 2. I mean, they noticed that they weren't line of sight and well. As a result, they sent in a lot of SI attacks, about 3-4 SI attacks, and every SI attack that they sent in did work. Yeah, and a coach is the one who has the scout, um, that being Booty Clap, otherwise known as Cheesy. Do see the opening hit for the SI, Tricap with Boom, charges Smoker and Hunter for support. Hunter looks like he's positioned himself on top of the uh, Sugar Mill for a damage pound. Yeah, so forgetting that you're not supposed to alert toggle. Indeed, we've already had one dispute about that, so please don't do it. The road's blocked. I think we gotta cut through the Sugar Mill. So look, they're pretty positioned in a spread out area. A Boomer does rocket in though and gets a Boom in on one. Hunter gets a pounce, Charger going for fists. Charger oh. gets a charge. There's Godframe, but the slam does count. So a little bit of damage going out of that first attack. I'd say about the same amount spread across the survivors as uh, went on Nick. Yeah. The, the crucial part being that no survivors are slow, so they don't have to commit a set of pills pre-tank spawn. Downside, of course, is that the SI are going to have a partial hit-up um, for when the survivors trigger tank. Pushing forward to trigger it now. But it is a 2-2 setup, so that will work in the survivors' favour. But they do have that charge and the spit. We'll be Dick moving a little bit slow due to all that common slowdown, and as a result, the S they've given the SI their spawn. Tank is yeah. up. Punch is coming in. Well, Hunter gets a pounce. Charger going for fists on that. Charger misses his charge. Double boom goes off in the back. Charger gets another fist in before he gets taken out. Thankfully, again, no, no survivor slow, but uh, Cheesy, Icy, and uh, Nemi taking a lot of chip. Yeah. Tank has already repositioned himself on top of the roof. Scout is in position for chipping though. I gotta be careful. Ooh, and a rock. Getting to clear the commons off Nick, he catches a rock as a. But that is all four survivors chipped down to near enough the same amount of HP. They're all teetering at about uh, 50, well, 44 is the lowest. 65 oh, the highest. Cheesy catching a rock. Rock right boom goes off. Yep. A rock goes rock off. Do Does not look good for Moby Dick. Catching a lot of rocks. Uh, Tank hasn't even been dented yet either. He's still sitting at 6,000 HP. He's losing frustration, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. I see. Trying to fend off commons with what, a single pistol. And down to 15% frustration. It looks like it could pass soon. There is another SI attack. Poison ready to come in. It's another 2 1. Boomy Hunter and Charger. 
And what does get a spawn, gets a proxy on one and then gets popped. Comes a hunter on the charge. Charger missing. Oh, but gets a stumble. Hunter lands as well. Charger going for fists. One survivor, oh, two, two down. down. Tank is, might roll in on this. Yeah, he's going, for it. Is going in on this. Two survivors down. Common's trailing in. I can't the get them up either. That's a double point. That is going to be the wipe. Yeah. Just sell this up, and he's got to deal with a tank. And there's a jockey up as well. Here comes a jockey. Some, oh, there's a tri cap and one survivor left. This is going to be a wipe. Charger gets his land. Do clear the charger, but I'm afraid it's all in vain at this point. There's no way Nick is getting out of this. Uh, sorry, Alice getting out of this alive. And that is the wipe. Moby Dick wiping again. 94 points in. Very early wipes for them. They're currently down by a phenomenal amount. Yeah, that is just. <laughs> that's like 878 points. Yeah. Yeah, so they are near enough the full amount of distance from map 3, which is the only map they really have left to make distance on, uh, yeah, due yeah. to the uh, the edits of map 4, map 4 only being worth 300 points now, and 600 bonus. They kind of need to um, really pull their fingers out for map 3, and map 3 is notorious for late tank spawns, yeah, and if they get, need to make maximum distance, and they need bonus. Yeah. Okay, which of course is another thing that map 3 is notoriously hard to do. I mean, I don't know if it's because they're suffering that, that gravely from pings, but um, whatever it is, it just seems like the Moby Dick just aren't able to, you know, repel the, the attacks that uh, Extreme Coast keep throwing at them. It's, it's like they, uh, they easily absorb, like, damage more than I would have actually expected, to be honest. They're usually very um, structured on their survival play. Their survival play is by far one of their most um, impressive areas. But it seems today that they're just catching every single boomer. There is a, a spitter going in for a sack. They do have a really good setup for the um, for the field area. Charge a smoker and a jockey. That boomer's going to uh, sorry that spitter's going to sack for a boomer. Relatively early tank that will spawn when the survivors reach the top of the elevator, give or take. Yeah. Obviously, forty-eight percent. I think that will be. I think that will be just like after the building, maybe. Possibly. That will definitely be a sort of a second floor tank inside the sugar mill, which is not good for Moby Dick because it's another early tank that they have to deal with. The attack is spawned up inside the cornfield, uh, sorry, the cane field. They do have that tri-cap with the boom. The survivor's pushing over to the far right of the map. Yeah, that's where the boom had the attention of spawning from. Yep. Four shotguns again, though, for uh, extreme killers. Looking to uh, chip these SI as they start moving in towards them. That boomer gets a spawn, though. It could be bad with them all bunched up here. There's great separation with the SI setup. Yeah, Extreme Killers are uh, a team that I've played for quite a while now. They like to take a cautious approach with their survivor play, but they managed to save Elisev from the uh, Broker Time. Boom does land. Oh, Charger getting leveled though, and Jockey gets M2 killed. Just one survivor boom. That tri cap really close to landing, but it did really rely on the Charger hitting his charge instead of getting leveled. Just uh, a little bit of consolation damage going out from Despot at the safe room door, and of course that boom. A couple of ticks from the smoker as well. Yeah. But, uh, none of the other SI getting anything. I think they will get another charger. They do get another charger. Hunter Spitter charger, and the final spawn coming up is a jockey. So it's it's a death charge capable setup. I mean, obviously having the smoker would be easier. But if they can get the hunter in there to get them stumbles and jockey one out, there is still the high possibility of a death charge. Which is what Moby Dick really needs. They need to handicap uh, extreme killers as much as they possibly can. But they're not even getting a chance to throw his delay spit out before getting picked. Hunter gets the power. Oh. Jockey gets M2. That's the charger up, and he's been chipped to hell by uh, shotguns already, so he's down. Nothing really going off on that attack, just a little bit of damage on the initial Hunter pounce. And there is the tank. A tank spawns up in the hands of Lionel, who is uh, Nemi. He's going to push in now while the uh, survivors sit around and clear out all the commons on the uh, second floor of the sugar mill. So let's take this over to a Moby Dick Warham. I think it's a boom, maybe we can go in, but... Oh, is boom even that good right here? Might just tell me this guy, so... No. Think you should go with the horde? Yeah, you should go. Don't... No. You guys need to be... 
Yeah. Try to pull one down to the lower floor. Yeah, oh, you could stay there above. You oh, oh should we go? Not. You need to go. You need to go up there. Okay. Well, back ladies and gentlemen, was the uh, third tank from Moby Dick managing two full downs and a little bit of hunter damage going in on coach. Uh, unfortunately, no tank has died. Uh, two, two survivor health bonuses wiped out though, so two sets of pills committed. But uh, the survivors are still in great shape to make a lot of distance on this map. Uh, and obviously the more distance they make, even if they don't make safe from, is more of a mountain for Moby Dick to climb. I think they will. Uh Boomer does try to rocket in though, but gets popped. Uh, there is a spitter charger and a jockey up in spawn mode, but it doesn't look like they're going to be committing now. That Boomer's just going to uh, get his new sp Never mind, oh, they, they are, are attacking. Yeah. Charger gets a charge in. Spit goes down on that. There's a jockey coming in as well for some. Jockey not getting anything though, jumping around aimlessly. He does get a jock, but gets cleared near enough instantly, so only about four points of damage going in from that. Yeah. He didn't really have a choice there. Both the uh, survivors inside that shack with him were not health bonus. Yep, and uh, their spawns are heavily split now as well. They've still got 9 seconds remaining on the uh, latest of the spawn. Second spawn is coming up now though, with the uh, third spawn following shortly. Uh, it's another 2-2. Smoke a boomer spitter and a charger. At least they have something to uh, spit on. Might see a late witch spawn here. Boom does go off on one survivor though. The rest of the attack is spawned up and it is coming in. Uh, charger has spawned up above the survivors on one of the pipelines. But he gets, uh, he does get his charge, but he gets cleared near enough instantly. Coach being lucky as well in the sense that that spit and not spread out to his table either. Indeed. A smoke uh, pull does go off in the back though on Rochelle. On health bonus. Yep, a little bit of damage. Bonus. Two survivors now slow, one set of pills remaining. A uh, third survivor will be slow as well. Never mind, they do find a spare set of pills. No witch as of yet. Extreme Killers just about to hit the 75% mark in terms of map distance. Next SI attack is coming up. Jockey, Charger, Hunter, and the final spawn will either be a Spitter or a Boomer. I imagine a Boomer. I oh, know it is a Spitter. spitter. So they do have a really nice strike up here for some uh, last additional damage, but they really need to pummel it all on Rochelle or Coach. Preferably Rochelle, because she is the bulk of the bonus. So I was choosing to uh, take the pipeline up to the top floor. There is a wait, Witch wait. that has spawned up. Oh, and she's in a really bad place as well. Yep. So I was deciding to go up, so the witch spawns up as well. I think... I don't know. They're not going to send Rochelle for that crown. Alice is going to go for the remote. And he does get it. Yes, I do spawn their hunter and their jockey, but... Uh, I'm certainly going to save the charge bit for when the survivors drop into this room at the end here. Jockey is underneath the survivors. Hunter's pre-spawned behind them. Are repositioning now to get uh, onto the roof area. The really was wildly though, keeping Rochelle up top, and they're blocking all the spawns for the SI as well as they come in. Charger misses his charge, he gets completely shut down, Jockey gets shut down, Spit goes down, the Hunter is still miles away from the survivors. They are going to make safe from and they do have another big bonus in their store. Yeah. Survivors in the last push to the safe room now, they are inside, the door is closed. 420 health bonus, giving them a total score thus far of 2032. I believe it is near enough mathematically impossible now for Moby Dick to make a comeback. Still have uh, two rounds to play, but any distance um, that Extreme Killers make on map 4 is just salt in the wounds of Moby Dick. They've got a lot of work to do. Opening attack is a tri cap with Spit, Spitter, Jockey, Charger, Smoker. My see extreme killers here go straight in with everything for this opening attack, just for that damage. I mean, the more they destroy Moby Dick's health bonus, the better it is for them in the long run. Yeah, I mean, just knowing that they have that point advantage is just emphasis enough to say, well, whatever, we can try what we want with the, uh, the setup here for the infected. It is just going to be a spitter sack, though. They are going to look for that boomer for the uh, tri cap in the field. You can see the jockey is spawned right up front. He's just bunny hopping like mad around the cane field.
But as we know, uh, Extreme Curls is effective work. I mean, it's been absolutely devastating in this match so far. Moby Dick have left themselves susceptible to a lot of tri -cap. They've taken a lot of damage. I mean, they've had two early wipes pretty much outside the safe room on the first two maps. Let's hope they can avoid this big tri -cap now in this uh, cane field. Attack, a full attack is spawned up though. Boomer does get popped, uh, long range popped by Nemi. They have chipped the jockey. Jockey's right behind. Jockey gets his land. Charger gets a charge. The jockey is still going at the back. Charger getting uh, a slam in as well. It's a good amount of damage going in off that first attack. That smoker almost made it un undetected. And I have SL up on my heart as a boomer. The smoker though does pull. Only momentarily though. Hunt up at the front. Probably going to sack a spawn. I mean, even with their spawn sacks, they're still getting like a tick or two of damage with each other SI. Yeah, it's almost a nice even spread. Hunter tries, or Spitzer tries spitting. They're not going to kill the Spitzer though, until now. Right, now they've got one hell of a mountain to uh, climb back and get back up from. And yes, I do have the optimal death charge set up as well. Smoke a jockey. Oh, jockey going in a bit early. Oh, smoke a gets smoker. a pull, but he gets stuck. Charge and misses. Though. That was extremely lucky. If they'd caught that death charge, it would have been game right there. Yeah, that would be so. Charge has got a despawn right away, though. I don't think he has his charge back, though. He, he does, I think. Moog goes out on one. Charger does have his Ooh. charge back and goes for the charge. Uh, tank is up in the hands of rocks. Uh, the boomer is AI and it's still waddling around, but the longer that boomer stays up, um, you know, that guarantees the SI a tri cap for this tank. <laughs> Charger came from downstairs with 25 HP and still allowed a scratch. Indeed. They do have, uh, the boomer does get popped, but it is going to be a tri cap for the SI. Tank is starting to push in. They have a smoker, hunter, and the final spawn coming in in five seconds. The tank might actually pass before then. Down to 10%. Shock. It is a tri cap. Tank is starting to push in. 5% frustration. Ooh, Ooh tank passes in sense. the middle of them. Oh, oh no, he got a punch. There is one down. Hunter lands, smoker lands. Oh. Ooh, Hunter gets cleared. The smoker's still going, the jockey's going. That is probably going to be another wipe for Moby Dick. It is another wipe for Moby Dick. We cleared it. Doesn't matter. Not going to be able to get away from that tank. And that is another wipe. 229 distance points in, giving Moby Dick uh, a total score after three maps of 363 points. Mm. A trail by 1700 points, give or take. Going into map 4, um, 300 distance points available, 600 bonus. Yeah, it's mathematically impossible. It's, it's impossible for them to yeah. win that. Unless they secretly agreed uh, to play the finale after it, but I doubt that would have been done. I mean, they were they were raiding the tank pretty fast, so the uh, four shotgun server they had it. Just I don't think they were ready for the SI support to come in when it did. They were all still focusing on the tank, and that's what set up um, you know the hunter and the uh, smoker to do the work. Indeed, the opening attack for Moby Dick though is a good one. It's uh, another tri cap with a boom. A lot of tri caps for the opening hits this time round. Good separation, uh, jockey charger and that smoker. But um, I feel it's a little bit too late for Moby Dick. I mean, anything, if they get an early wipe here now, it's just nothing more than a consolation prize for them, really. It's mathematically impossible for them to come back. Yeah. Teams are really having problems with those tanks today. 24%, no, sorry, 21% tanks, so it is another early tank. It's a shame, I mean, uh, after the first round, Moby Dick have had everything they wanted, really. They've had early tanks every single round there enough to sort of um, secure the wipes and keep them closer, but they just keep, they can't get their SI in sync. They just seemingly, they do the damage with the tank, but then, as a result, they give too much distance away that it just allowed uh, extreme killers to push out. There is the tank, and here comes the SI. Boomer gets a boom in on one. Uh, there is a, a smoke going off, but that gets clear. Jockey jumping around, charges down. Tank is rolling straight in there enough. Charger coming in for a fist. Uh, this takes over to a Moby Dick Warren while this tank moves his cars. Oh my god, that's close. That On two different people. I literally went over his head. That might get some... Oh, well, that's up there, so... Might be able to get spawns up there. 
behind the car. Yeah, yep. You're switching roofs. Oh, wow. I put him from inside or something. Can I get the boom? Oh, wow, well, oh, where did I go? I'm going to get in there. Nah, it doesn't go through the, those uh, things, apparently. Apparently I pulled to a shell. Wow. Well, I'm gonna get cleared. I need to get back up here. Don't let him get the pickup. I hit oh. him. Oh my god. Just punch him if you can reach him. I'm Punch stuck. coach. Punch coach. He's dead. Never mind. That's okay. Throw him the end cap guy or something. And if you can him, he's good. Nice Easy. fucking job, guys. <laughs> oh god! I have 16 health. He almost cleared me. Yeah. Oh, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there you have it. Map 4 tank strikes again. Well, there the uh, old fresh scoring system isn't there to complicate things, but uh, only 64 points on, di on the board for extreme team. Or extreme killers, even. But, uh, well, at this point, it's almost irrelevant now what happens. But a very good tank play from, I believe it was Polis who got the cars initially, unless it changed over. A very good, uh, very nice car placement and uh, great SI support as well at the end there to seal the double cap. It's a shame that it has come uh, a little bit too late. And as a result, we do go into the fourth and final round. Uh, Moby Dick on Survivor, Extreme Killers on Special Infected. Tank is a really early spawn, pretty much as soon as Survivor leave the safe room. And the opening attack for the SI is a tri cap with a boom. Charger, jockey, and smoker in support. Yeah, it's a shame because I, I've played with some of Moby Dick's players before. Um, I know from having played with them that they're pretty they're well experienced and they're very decent players. And it's like this performance here isn't. Well, for one, I know they could do a lot better. They can certainly play a lot better than what's been shown here. But for whatever reason, they just haven't. They just haven't sort of got together, really. I was focused on the was, uh, Greatly dismotivational for them as well after the uh, connection problems Intel suffered. Yeah. Not getting a single punch. But uh, there is the tank. Tank is up. Here comes the SI support. Boomer getting pop. Uh, jockey come in. He gets shut down. Charger misses his charge. Smoke is going out though. Smoke does get his damage. Charge gets shut down. Tank is currently uh, fondling his cars over on the street. Here comes the first car, but it uh, ricochets off the telephone pole. The Moby Dick have secured the uh, roof location. They are running uh, uh, two shotguns and uh, a silenced SMG. Oh, sorry, three shotguns and a silenced SMG. So, very same setup coming out from both teams. Boom goes in. A little bit too long, though, for him to get, so the boomer does get popped. There is a charger and a jockey up in spawn mode. Tank is down to uh, 40 frustration, but he does still have 5.5k HP. It's like he wants to punt that little car in at the survivors. Yeah. Well, Rox is passing over into hands of a Meshko of the tank. Only taking 600 uh, HP chips so far. Yeah, you'll really see it drop on the push in. Yeah. He's going for this car. Reloading. It's on the roof, but it's an awkward position, really, to get a good hit. And he's not going to bother with it, he's just punching uh, Nick off. We tried uh, charging for, uh, I believe it was Ellis. And uh, Tank has got Rochelle. He has a lo lovely double punch on Nick and uh, Ellis. Coach is free, I believe, but the smokers now got uh, Ellis. Duh. Charger tried uh, a prediction charge, it didn't go too well. Uh, uh, coach is down on the ground, Rochelle's picking him up now. He's trying to pump this car in. This tank's only got 600 health. 
Need to down this tank and oh, but he's still oh. going down. On Lionel, who I believe is Nemi. Poor Nemi catching car right at the end. So that is pretty much three lumps of solid HP removed from uh, Moby Dick's overall health bonus. Everything is left. That's right. Everything is left on cheese at the moment. They have one set of pills left, and it's just all distance from here on out, really. Yeah. They wouldn't have even wouldn't even be enough on the whole scoring system. To come back from this. I mean, yeah, it's just it's just sad, really, because I mean, I know Moby Dick can play better than this, and than what they have played. Do see an attack coming in though? Hunter, Charger, oh, and a jockey. Charger gets a massive separation charge in front. Jockey and Hunter have been shut down, and that is ooh almost a down for Coach. That would have made him black and white. Yeah, Smoker does finally spawn up for the final SI, but uh, he's going to save himself. Wait for the rest of his spawns to come into sync. Latest spawn is 8 seconds out, the f uh, other two spawns coming up now, Spitter, Jockey, Smoker. Final spawn in 3 seconds for the SI is going to be a boomer, so it's a 2-2 setup, the like the worst 2-2 setup in the world. Smoker right does right get a pullback, right right right. double boom going off, a little bit of spit damage but nothing uh, substantial. I was doing make it through. There is a witch up ahead uh, in the playground area. Big 3 witch, consolation ground, go! We'll see if they go for it or not. That smoke got a despawn. Uh, yes. Yes, uh, Nemi is going for it. And he and does get the crown. Even with 185 ping. Indeed. All four survivors about to be slow though. They do have a smoker, hunter, and a boomer up. Oh, a charger coming in from behind oh. gets a charge. Hunter looking for that second cap, but he doesn't get it. Coach goes down, smoke gets a separation, pounce land. That's the last of the health bonus that's currently been pulled as well. Yeah. Was a scout user as well, so there was no long range clearing. Downside to taking multiple shotguns. Uh, it's going to be safe room for Moby Dick, however. Yeah. As soon as they crawl into it. But there is a charge, but here comes a charge. They want safe room, but there is. Oh, Nick's going to pounce. And that's the health bonus. Oh, that's going to be two down. Oh, coach dies. Oh, Hunter and Jockey still up. They're trying to get that scratch. I'm thinking, oh. oh, the Jockey gets a ride, but it gets cleared. They're getting cleared as well. The uh, there is two spawns coming up. There is a smoker up. He does get oh, the ball <laughs> just as he gets pulled. Nick up. Delay spit on top of that just to stop, just yeah. to thwart Moby Dick's efforts to get into that safe room. There's a charger up now as well. Here it comes. Oh, and it gets a separation <laughs> charge on Rochelle. I guess she's tired of it. Permanent health left as well. There's a jockey up in the back as well. Jockey gets it down. There's a boomer up as well, searching frantically for that spawn behind the car. Doesn't seem to be able to get it. Boker up in spawn mode as well. So try to get them spawned. <laughs> boomer does get his spawn. He gets a boomer on Rochelle. Drops the pickup. It's a real bad if they can make it into the safe room for Pride with three survivors. Of our Pull own. goes up. Pounce goes in. A spit goes down on that. Oh, the boom. She's been. Jesus. <laughs> Rochelle goes down again. I'm <laughs> desperately trying to make that <laughs> safe room. Oh, there's another uh, charger. SL was a spitter in my view as well. Hey. Comes another charge. Oh, oh, it doesn't get the mix. charge. Oh, there's uh, a bunch on Michelle. On coach, sorry. Ellis is dead. Nick is down. There's a boomer waddling in. Could be it. That <laughs> is it. <laughs> jockey going in the safe room. That is it. So that is the game. We do see a total score of 2,096 points to Extreme Killers and 663 to Moby Dick. Yeah. Total difference in the end being 1,433 points. Massive advantage. Yeah, really early on.
I mean, it's a very good game. Very dominant display from Extreme, despite the fact that they only made about two safe rooms out of possible four. Indeed. Uh, and a highlight from uh, maybe Dick's point of view must be that map two tank for sure. I mean, they played that extremely well. I mean, that, that's proof right there that they can, they can pull off some amazing displays when they want to. But as far as I see it, you know, Extreme Killers just just control all the momentum. They yeah. had like the they had the overall more consistently dominant survivor and effective play. Yeah, Moby Dick had their chances, but unfortunately they were squandered relatively early on as well. It seemed that the uh, survivor play was really suffering for Moby Dick tonight, and as a result, it has sent them to the loser bracket. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, we will try to keep people informed of uh, more casts from the uh, Equilibrium Cup. Uh, we do still have another semi-final game to be played, which is, uh, is it Pixies versus Impossible Brew, or has that been played already? No, it's been played on Broadway. Um Impossible Brew beat Elmo, as it's okay. otherwise known. So, we do have Elmo, who are currently in the loser's bracket as well, with uh, Moby Dick. And uh, we do still have quite a few games in the loser's bracket to uh, to get played as well, to see how the progression works out. Yeah, uh, starting final to be looking forward to in the winner's bracket will be Too Late versus uh, Impossible Brew, and Extreme Killers versus I Illuminate. That will be a good, two good games actually, so do stay tuned for them, we'll try and keep you uh, posted on them and hopefully have the camera set up in time as well. So uh, yeah. thank you for joining us, I've been Battle and I've been joined obviously by Dragon. It's been a pleasure as always. Indeed, so uh, good games and good night.